All right, in this video I'd like to show some ins and outs about how to save your TensorFlow 2 Quick Start Notebook to your Google Drive, how to share, how to edit, and so on. All right, so you've been at this page before. If we run in Google Colab, we go here, and it should load in short order. All right, here we are. I'll make it a little bit bigger so you can see what's going on. All right, I don't need this. And let's go ahead and copy to Drive. All right, now you'll have to log in with your Google uh, login. You should create a Google login. A Google Drive is a very useful uh, thing to have. All right, so I already have an account, so I'll go here and I'll log in. So, let's hope I t type that right. I don't want to save it. All right, so now I've logged in, and let me go ahead. I have to start over again, and let me go copy to Drive here. And now it's now created a, a copy. I'm in Firefox, so it gives this. So I'll open this in a new tab. Hopefully, we'll go there. And here I have copy of beginner. Okay. Now, uh, so I can edit this. It will be saved on my Google Drive. I can go back to it later. I can also share it. So you can share this with me. If I click on share. So this is me. So you just add my email here and share. Okay. So for instance, I could share this with another, another person. And then just I get and then send. Okay, I'm not going to share it with her because she's not interested in this at all. So uh, we'll go ahead and leave that. All right, so now this is saved on my Google Drive. To get access again to this, I just go to drive.google.com. And I just signed in, so it should be here. Uh, it opens in my drive. It would be under Colab Notebooks here. So you click, click in here. So in the future, to access the same notebook, you just go here. I've made three copies. This is the most recent one. So if I go in here, I can start it from here, if it will let me. There we are. And I can run from here. I can run in Google Colab. And then here, let me let me uh, remove all the other ones because I don't want several copies of this. All right. I think I I think I erased the wrong one, so let me go back here and do this again. I'll go back here. So let's open this here. It looks like it's opening in Col Google Colab. And here now, if you make changes of this, they will be saved, all right? All right, now, uh, to make changes, I th think you've seen this before. So this hasn't been run so before. So here we have this. It's going to take a minute to load. Now, this is actually running on a virtual machine in the cloud, which is nice. If I want to add a cell, typically you're going to want to add a code cell. If you're familiar with Jupyter Notebooks, this is just a Jupyter Notebook. But if I want to add code and execute something, I can put code here. So, for instance, I've said things like import numpy as np, and then I can do print np.log of 2. And then I can run this, and I, and I will get, whoops, okay. So I forgot the parentheses. Right. And now I can run it. All right, so whatever changes you make in your notebook, you can uh, save here. One important thing that I haven't mentioned is a, if you want to put a comment in your cell, you put a sharp sign, this is, this is a comment. Okay. So if you're not familiar with Jupyter Notebooks, please ask some questions. But here again, like I said, 
Uh, you can share this with me and then I'll have access to the same notebook. And this notebook is saved. All the changes you've made are saved. So you can do your exercises on this notebook that's in your Google Drive. Okay, I hope that's helpful.